Hello and welcome back to another video of me here today. Today is Travis Plays Life and as you can see from our title up here, as per usual, we are going to be doing some animation or some scratch. Um, this time we are going to be doing some Christmas animations. Now in a video I posted I think a week or a bit ago, um, a lot's happened since for starters. Now Windows 10 computer corrupted, yay! So we're now on Windows 8 again if I switch you to um, a new scene and just show you here. Just a sec. There you go. As you can see, I have Windows 8 down below. And, um, yeah. We're on Windows 8, which is fun. I prefer Windows 8. Um, yeah. Anyhow, back to that's annoying. There you go, in the middle. <laughs> so I've still got a lot of setting up to do. Um yeah, we're gonna be doing another video. And um we're gonna be doing some basic Christmas animations. For starters we're gonna be doing snow, so if we get a background Very many here all doing outdoors as it can only snow outdoors playing field this is what we'll do and we're gonna make a sprite this time we're not gonna be choosing one we're gonna be painting one and it's going to just be white As you can see over here, this is our sprite. So now we've got our sprite, we're going to set some really good code. Where it's going to spawn at the very top of the screen. And it's going to um, show you the, um, effectively, snow falling down. So we're going to add in the basic starters. I'm going to add click forever. Wait one second and we're going to make a clone, which is in control. I'm going to create a clone of myself. And we're going to be doing so this is a thing not many people know about. People who coded on Scratch before would know about it. Um, yeah, so, we're going to have it, so, when we start as a clone, we are going to be doing a very basic script, so we're going to have it, so, um, here, so it's going to hide before it does that, so here we're going to, in the, when I start as clone, this script is so it appears randomly across the screen, not so, so that it doesn't we really just have it falling from one straight line downwards so we want it so we're going to make it appear randomly so x is along here so we're going to this is one we're going to be doing random from and as you can see here we have from minus 240 to 240 and the y is going to be 180 So it's going to instantly do this. And next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have it to show before doing um, a repeat until. Um, I just realized something else. So we're going to have to do this as minus 235 to 235. So it doesn't touch the edge. Because what we're going to be doing will mean that um, the moment it touches the edge, which is down below, um, it's going to completely clear itself. So if we do sensing and touching edge, um, we are going to change the Y. By minus 1. 
And once it's upon the edge, we're going to go into control. We're going to get delete this clone. So then if we go into our backdrops, we switch it back to a playing field. And run this code. I think this is probably going a bit too fast. It's be annoying if it doesn't work. Hmm. Just so I'll get back to see why this isn't working. <laughs> it's as simple as I set this to 180, which is the very top. Me making dumb mistakes in life. Snow, please. <laughs> that best to happen, but it's already touching the edge, I think. I will get back to you yet again. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. We have snow, people. We have snow. I think I had this um, set to close to the edge. See, here. Spawning way to the edge, which is highly irritating. There you go, snow. There you go, this is actual snow. It's the original. As you can see, it does work. Um, I've gone the scratch things as I do a lot of Python coding these days, and I don't generally have an if touching edge block in Python. In fact, we don't have any blocks, so that will never happen. Yep. Here we have a very basic snowing animation. If we switch it back to a playing field backdrop. Snowy playing field. I'm going to just do some small adjustments and to go a bit faster. Not so much where it looks that laggy. There you go. Now it looks better, doesn't it? It's snowing in this town, so I'm going to link the actual um, size measurements in the description down below, as I figure them out now. And but this is what it is. I'll just zoom in here for people. These are the measurements that I'm using. Next, what we're going to do is making a Christmas tree. Um, let's search for a tree. There you go. Here is one fine looking tree. So, 
So I probably should have repaired some measurements before. And as of course, because it's Christmas, we're going to have it flashing up. That's so first of all we're going to get our paintbrush. We're going to pick a random colour. We're going to dot some of it round. And we're going to pick another one. We have some reds. I mean, this is very basic because I was taught in primary school, and it's not always the uh, best of ones, but. Next, we're going to add in, like, maybe a different colour. Like, a bit of lighter blue. I'm going to fill in all the red. That lighter blue. It's now going to fill in blue with green. Can't differentiate that. Jeez, that's a big tree. There you go. Go back to your normal size. We're going to be setting different colours, so like purple maybe, to original blue, and then to green, what's that, red maybe. And then as you can see, it slowly changes, but we're going to make a script for us, so we don't have to go in there and change it ourselves, as we don't really want to do that. I think it's 0 0.5 for actually one. You have, um, Lapsy or whatever, I think that's what it's called. This probably is an of the uh, Chris animations for you a moment. Um, Nice, fairly okay. We're gonna have the uh, Christmas tree set to the uh, back of the stage. So the snow can go in front of the tree. As you can see, it starts to lag a bit, that's expected, but I have a flashy Christmas tree. We can add in more colours like um we can set the reds purples to pink or reds to pink we can set the purples to turquoise We can set those blues to a really dark blue. And then run it again. It looks very different. But it's a flashy Christmas tree. So yeah, that's a run through on how to make yourself a flashy Christmas tree and some snow. The tree uses this code here, and your snow uses this code here. Yep. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want any more videos like this on Scratch or on other languages or gaming videos, possibly, then please leave a like and comment down below. And if that subscribe button is red, do me a favour and turn it to grey, please. Thank you very much. Yeah.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out. One final thing I forgot to put in. Upon time of recording, there are five sleeps, I believe, until Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to you all. Have a nice Christmas time. And stick to COVID rules, as in England they've got even more stricter. Goodbye. <laughs>